Welcome back to another build. Today, it is this card display. It was actually pretty simple. I got the frame from Walmart. It was cheap, only like five bucks. So today, I'll show you how to make this. Now let's get into it. The first step is cutting the poster board to match the dimensions of the edges of the frame. Next, I was lining up the cards to make sure I got an idea of how they're going to fit. I pushed all the cards to one side and measured the remaining distance to the edge. This came out to be 2 and 1 fourth inches, so if I wanted it to be equal on each side, I had to make the extra space 1 and 1 eighth inches. Then I measured the distance about that I wanted in between each card horizontally, which came out to be about 1.4 millimeters. Next I had to measure about the distance that I wanted in between each card vertically, and this came out to be about 1 inch. Then I added up the total height and subtracted that from 16 to find the distance I would need on the top and bottom, which came out to 1.75 inches. Next I measured 1.75 inches from the top where I wanted the top of the card to be plus 3.5 inches for the length of the card and made a mark on the edge of the po poster where it's going to be hidden by the frame so it's okay to make a mark there. Then I did the same on the other side. These marks are going to mark where the bottom of the row is going to be for all of the top row of cards. Now I taped together three strips of paper to make a straight edge that I could make marks on easily. And I lined the bottom of this up with the marks that we just made on the poster board. Now I put two lines on the edges of the paper that line up with the edges of the poster board so that I knew where to measure from, from the edge of the frame. Now I started off by marking one and one eighth inch from the edge of the side. And then I made a mark that was two inches away from that because that's the width of the card. And then I made another mark that was 1.4 millimeters from that second mark. And I repeated this step six times to get spots for each card that I'm putting on this row. Now I was just double checking that the bottom of the paper lined up with the marks on the board so that the row of cards would go straight across the board. After I was satisfied with the fit, I taped it down so it wouldn't move. Now after that paper is secured, I lined up all the cards that I wanted on this row with the bottom of the card flush to the bottom of the piece of paper, and I cut a strip of double-sided tape that I'm going to tape to the back side of the card, a little above halfway, so that I wouldn't stick it to the paper template. I laid the card back down on the template with, once again with the bottom flush and lining up the edges of the side with the two marks that I made on the paper. And once I was satisfied with the fit, I pushed it down so the tape stuck, making sure that the bottom was still flush. And I repeated this five more times for each card on this, on this row. After each card gets stuck on, you can take this sheet of paper off that was our template and be careful with this so you don't pull any of the cards up, but you'll remove this template and keep the tape on there so we can reuse it later. Now I could have done this earlier but I'm marking down from the bottom of the previous card one inch because that's the space I wanted in between each row of cards plus three and a half because that's how long each card is. So I'm marking one inch and then three, inch, three and a half inches below. I'll put another mark for the bottom of the card.
Then I'm just going to rinse and repeat and make another mark one inch below that bottom mark and another three and a half inches below that mark to mark where the bottom row of cards is going to go. Once again, I'm doing the same marks on the other side. Now using that same template again, I line the bottom of it up where the next row of cards is going to be. Then lay all the cards down, make sure you've got them where you want them, and rinse and repeat again, taping and sticking. Once again, remove the paper template so that we can use it again for the bottom row. And using the bottom pair of marks for the bottom row, line up the bottom of the template once again with those marks. and repeat steps of laying the cards down where you want them, taping and sticking. And once all the cards are stuck down, you can remove the paper template. Now one of the bonuses, I think, to doing a card display like this is if you ever want to trade one out or upgrade a card, it's pretty simple to just slide the card out of its sleeve and grab a new card and put it in that same sleeve. Next, grab the backing to start putting the frame back together and make sure it lines up decently. Add the cover of the frame again and then start adding the frame edges back on. Now as you can see, I left the protective film on so I didn't smudge up the plastic while I was putting the frame back together. I just peeled it away a little bit from the edges as I was putting the frame pieces back together. Now once all the edges are put back on, you can remove that protective film and voila, the card display is finished. Thank you for joining. If you followed along, I hope you're as happy with your card display as I am with mine. Uh, I thought it turned out pretty well. If you liked the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, leave the thumbs up. Uh, it really helps the channel. If you guys have any other suggestions of stuff to make, uh, send it my way. And I will join you all next time. Hail to the hobbies.